In this video, I'm going to take you through a Binance Lite tutorial. We'll take a look at the features included in Lite Mode, how to buy, sell and convert. Plus, we're going to take a look at how you can earn interest and see if this is the best mode for you. For more information on Binance Lite, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. The Binance Exchange introduced Binance Lite in February of 2021 as the easiest way to buy Bitcoin for crypto novices or users who just wanted the basics. Now the default mode for Binance app users, Binance Lite can easily be switched back to Binance Pro at any time when users just want to use the more advanced functionality. With Binance Lite, users can check token prices, they can buy and sell and exchange crypto without having to access more complex order books or charts. Plus, users can also take advantage of a limited version of the Binance Earn feature from within the simplified wallet. So what's the main difference between Lite and Pro? Well, Lite is said to be better for those that may be new to crypto trading and looking for an easy way to buy or sell crypto. Whilst Binance Pro offers all of the above, but with more options, such as futures and margin trading, they've got more advanced order types. Plus, they offer more diverse coins and features and they're good for those that are more experienced or those looking to grow their existing crypto assets using Binance's full ecosystem. So let's jump in and take a look. Binance Lite is already integrated into the Binance app, which is available for download from Google Play for Android or App Store for iOS devices. Before you get started, you'll need to have a Binance account. One of the easiest ways to sign up and go through all your verification is using the web platform. And I've got a link and a code in the summary below for Binance that will get you some money off your trading fees. Now, I won't take you through the sign up process today, but you're going to need to provide some personal information and IDs to get yourself signed up and verified. Once you open the app, if you're not too sure if you're already using Binance Lite as opposed to the pro mode, simply press onto the market tab and it will display the word Lite at the top of the screen. Alternatively, you can alternate between Lite and Pro mode by pressing onto the profile icon in the top left hand side of the screen and then by pressing onto the Lite toggle button. And I do have a full tutorial for Binance Pro on both the app and the web if you are interested in finding out more. But we'll toggle back to Lite mode now and take a look around. First up we have our Markets tab which will provide a list of all the available cryptocurrencies which you can filter by any favourites that you've marked or you can also have a look at what's hot, the market cap, and you can also sort by the price. You can then drill down these further by clicking onto the token here, where you can track the token price over time. You can convert if the token is available for trading on Binance Lite, and it will show you a bit of information about the token and any related news. Then in the top right hand side of the screen is where you can mark it as a favourite. If we just go back by clicking onto the back arrow in the top left hand side of the screen, we can also search for a token if there's a specific one that we're looking for. The center button allows us to buy, sell and convert our tokens, which we're going to come back to in a moment. Then the wallet icon on the bottom right is where we can view our balance. Or in fact, we can also hide it from here too. And the balance that we're looking at here is only for the features available in Binance Lite. So that will be your spot wallet, P2P and your earn balances. And as it states here, if you have assets in other accounts on Binance, you can switch across to the pro mode just as I showed you earlier. We can then deposit, withdraw and earn from here. Plus we can view our portfolio breakdown or asset allocation and each individual token balance. So let's start with depositing, as I don't actually have much of a balance here. Now, as you may already be aware, some fiat currency deposits and withdrawals have been suspended on Binance recently due to regulations. However, this may have changed depending on the time that you're watching this recording. However, crypto and stablecoin deposits are not an issue. And for those of you who've been with Binance for a while, you'll be aware that this used to be a crypto to crypto platform anyway. If you do need a fiat to crypto exchange, there are obviously others that you can use, such as the likes of Coinbase or Gemini. However, these will have higher trading fees. So if I search for one inch now and press onto it, 
I'll then be shown the QR code in the address for either the ERC20 or Ethereum network, or you can select the BEP20 Binance Smart Chain network. So I'm just going to copy across the address now and send my tokens across to that address. Then once the transaction is confirmed and completed, that one inch is now showing up on my balance. And I can do a couple of things from here. I could earn some interest on it by clicking on to earn here, where you'll see a host of different tokens and their seven day APYs. With Earn on Binance Lite, this is just the more user friendly products like BNB Vault and Flexible Terms, meaning that there's no lockup periods or fees and you can redeem your funds at any time. Now, if I just take a look at one inch, you can see here that the rate is 3.29%, which is a great return. I actually have a full tutorial on the Binance Earn feature, so I'm not going to go into it now. But you could simply subscribe and deposit your one inch tokens into here to start earning some passive income on them. And especially if these were just going to be sat idle in your wallet otherwise. And you can currently earn as much as up to 5% on the likes of the Kate token here. Now I'm not going to go ahead and do this as I want to show you some other options now. So let's head back to that middle button where you can buy and sell with your local currency too as long as your fiat currency is not suspended. And you can simply state that you'd like to buy £20 of Bitcoin for example which you can use using a cash balance if you have one or alternatively you could buy that with the likes of a credit or a debit card. However, as you can see here, you will get less Bitcoin for your money and this is due to the convenience and the fees involved in car payments. And it's not a way that I would personally recommend buying your crypto. Plus, Binance do also offer peer-to-peer -peer trading options for some countries too. And if you already got some crypto and you effectively want to cash out, you can also sell your crypto from here. And again, you can type in the amount or you can choose to sell all of it by clicking onto max. Now if you'd rather swap your token for another, you can do something called convert, which is a simplified version of exchanging, as with converting, you'll be paying the price dictated to you by Binance, as opposed to you being able to state the price that you'd like to exchange your tokens at, like you can do with more advanced order types in Binance Pro, like the limit orders. Now the list of available tokens aren't as extensive as the amount of available tokens on Binance Pro. For example, if I search for PancakeSwap's cake token, they aren't on here, although you can deposit the tokens and you can also buy them. But there's a list that you can obviously choose from here and it can simplify things for those that are maybe more novice. When you select the tokens that you'd like to swap from and to, it'll show you the minimum and maximum amounts that you can swap or you can click onto max to swap it all. You then choose to preview the conversion and it will show you the amount of tokens that you'll receive, how many of your tokens you'll be converting and the rate. Then finally, over on the wallet tab, if you want to withdraw from Binance Lite, for example, if you want to send your tokens across to another exchange or if you want to hold them securely in a wallet, press on to withdraw. And the list of available fiat balances or crypto balances will then appear. You'll need to ensure that you set up some elements of two-factor authentication before you can actually go ahead and withdraw. And this can include the likes of Google Authenticator. You'll then need to enter the withdrawal address of where you're sending your crypto to, which is essentially your receive or your deposit address from the platform or the wallet that you're sending to. The network will then need to be selected from the drop-down, and this can be the chain you're sending this on. In this example, I'm going to be sending this on the Binance Smart Chain but I do also have the option of Ethereum, although this is temporarily suspended right now. And from there, you can then enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw, or you can click onto max. Then choose to withdraw, where you'll then be shown a confirmation, and this will display your fees and you'll need to confirm your withdrawal from here. Then enter in your two-factor authentication codes and your crypto will then withdraw. So how do you choose which mode is right for you? Well, as you can see, if you're looking for a more basic version of the Binance app, this could be the right choice for you. However, if you want more advanced order and trading types with more diverse coins and ways to earn interest, then Binance Pro is for you. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website, 
at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.